You know, I, I think my new way of rock collecting, of course, when I can, I still like, uh, I'm always going to hoard rocks. But collecting on video is really nice. It's amazing how light these are. <laughs> and I get to share them with anybody in the world who wants to see them. But Art, if you're watching this, this is, I believe, one of those quartz breccias that we always say is so hard to saw through. Not sure if that's what it is, because this is way smoother. It's, it's almost perfectly smooth. You can't feel... Nothing's pitted out. So you can't feel uh, bumps or pits, really. Very nice pattern. You petrologists and geologists, what do you make of this material? Again, it's common enough along the river that, that we do find it. I just don't know what it might be. One person told me years ago that it's kind of related to jade. That might be why it's so hard to saw. But I don't know enough about jade, so I can't confirm or deny that. Okay, this is for you petrologists out there. So as I, I think I mentioned that the porphyries seem to be a little less common in this mix. But I am finding them. And this one... This is even kind of rare in the Yellowstone. I don't find them every time I go, but I do find them. And this is where you have the black. If the sun were out, these black needles would be very reflective. And we have a broken surface to look at. It's almost a green color. It's just interesting to see how a mix varies. There's another interesting porphyritic I wouldn't have seen unless I got it wet. No, nope, that's actually a granite. A granitoid, we'll call it. Those of you who hunt along the Yellowstone, you'll know what I mean. The red basalt with the black chunks in it, the red brecciated basalt. I thought this was one, but no, I think this is another one of those rhyolites with the dendritic patterns. Obviously not very dendritic, but quite red. Yeah, this is unique. Nice piece. Ugly on that side. But water brings it out. Yeah, it's definitely not a basalt breccia. It's either a rhyolite or maybe a quartzite or something. 